Hello everybody, Princess Casserole here, and I am here with a jewelry bag unbagging. Um, this one is old, old, old. Um, I've had it for a little while, um, so it is our, out of the archive. It's $45. I don't quite know what's in here. Hopefully it's a lot of good stuff. Um, we shall see. But um, I can't remember these ones. This one was probably from Goodwill or Salvation Army. One of those two. I don't remember. But again, this has to be really old because <laughs> it's big. And any of the ones that I've gotten this year were not nearly as big as this. Um, I don't know, Thelma seems to be getting some good ones, and I've heard some good things about some other store, stores, too, because people are using this time to clean. Not me. I haven't done that. I finally did yesterday. I started cleaning a little bit, but this guy is pretty worn, um, but I know some people still use these to make, uh, dream catchers and stuff, um, so... Yeah, have you guys not, Sally, have you guys not um, met the requirements yet? We just met the requirements, I guess, the uh, like today to open, but um, it's like curbside and stuff. So looks like these are earrings. They're interestingly put together. Um, yeah, we like Western New York just met it like just now so these are really pretty I like these very nice they almost look like they're gold plated or something um, so I'm gonna put my craft stuff next to me here trying to stay a little organized music notes yeah they're very pretty I like them a lot actually right. these are pretty I think this is sterling and they all look like garnets right they are so pretty Very nice. Can't tell if this is a real stone or not. What do you guys think? It feels like plastic. I think it's plastic. That's neat though. It's a neat belt buckle. And I don't see anything in the middle for this guy. He's kind of cool, but that one will go in the craft lot. How is this? Oh, this one's broken. That one will also go in the craft lot, but it's cool. Somebody, somebody can craft with that guy. Um, so this is one of the things that I saw. I remember this. That's why I bought this bag. So this is super cool. I have one similar to this. It's called, it says sentiment. And it is so pretty. I think it's like, um, and it's gold filled. I think it is like a repro piece or a revival piece. But look at how beautiful that is. This is just so wonderful and it is in such great shape so um already happy with those two things this is pretty it's always kind of amazes me how expensive beaded um, necklaces and beads are. It's a very interesting vanilla 
color though. I have a feeling there's all kinds of weird stuff in here, which I'm always a fan of. I like weird stuff. What's this guy? Let's go in here first. There's so much. I just took out so much. This looks like amethyst. That's kind of like wonky. And it's got a barrel clasp. But it is very nice. It's cold to the touch. Oh. This is a brooch. I think there may be of something missing there. But I think I can probably put something there, right? This is so cool. I love the little tube tube things. Um yeah, it definitely had something there. Probably had more tube things there maybe, but that's very cool. I like it. I think I can still manage to do something with it. This is neat. I feel like this <laughs> was a top for something. It doesn't look sterling or anything. You know what I mean? Like it feels like this was a top where you put something in there, like an ashtray or something. But it doesn't look like it's sterling or anything. This is pretty. I think this is probably... Feels like maybe gold-plated to me. It says ABC or NVC. So I think this is totally costume, but it is really pretty and in perfect, impeccable shape. Um, I have seen rings like this that are really cool. So this is beautiful. We'll see. This bag may be a twofer. We'll see. It's pretty big. I don't know. <laughs> there's and there's a, a lot in here. Interesting. Um all right. So it is I got a Brighton purse thingy. People do see sell those on like Poshmark and Etsy and such. This is fun. I like this. That's a really fun, cool bracelet. I like that. I'm trying to find the other part of that guy, but. I don't know. So you got a single earring. I'm a single earring. I'm a single earring. Hopefully we won't have a lot of them this time. This is a fold over clasp. I know I love marquee and baguette shaped things. This one's plastic. I don't. It's not um, amber or anything, but vintage loveliness. from Dubai. I do I would love to learn more about Indian gold. I I had a friend that I used to work with who had some and I, I also have another friend who's married to an Indian who has some. Uh, but the markings are totally different and the designs are totally different. 
Look at how cute this is. A little pendant. I actually have something over there where I was putting all my Christmas stuff in. And I know Indian gold is so such high carat that um, sometimes it doesn't look real either. So it's definitely something to learn about. Oh goodness. And I'm not even always sure if I saw some that I would know for sure that it was real gold because it just looks so different. Has so much more yellow. This is pretty. Let's see. I don't see anything missing. It's very pretty. Oh, and I like that they have little pearls and even on the back to be in between. I have a feeling that somebody probably wore this to a wedding or in a wedding or something like that. It's very pretty. <laughs> My uh, friend from work always used to watch all those housewives. I don't watch a ton of reality TV. This is pretty. I like the color. There's some opalite in here. That's kind of a fun bracelet. It's a little dolphin. And this one's pretty too. Who is this? Oh, Trifari very pretty. I would not have guessed that. It's another thing I should do again. It does guess the cute. Guess the designers and those were always so much fun. It's another plastic. I don't think they're bake light or anything but it is pretty. Vintage plastic, aha. So this does not look like it is signed at all, but it's a snaky one. Look, he's got a snake face. So I guess he just sticks to wherever you want. I've never seen one of these as a snaky. Have you guys? That's kind of fun. Snaky. I use these, um, like my, um, a fidget spinner or something. They're very fun to fidget with. noticed these. I don't know if they're for watch faces or what. I have a couple of them. They're very pretty. I don't know what they're for. <laughs> it's pretty. Earring. And two more earrings. These ones are costume, but it's still pretty. And these are fun. I like these because you don't have to wear a bunch of bangles, but it kind of makes it look like you're wearing a million bangles. Wow, this is tiny. Maybe I'll put that in with the kids stuff because, wow, look, I have a very small wrist and I can't even come close. <laughs> I love Mother of Pearl. I have many, many of them. 
like I had this all cleaned off and nice. And then I knew I probably shouldn't have opened anything. I'm gonna be a, a big mess again. I'm so bad at organizing everything. So this one I'm gonna put in the crafter lot. Also these ones. What's this guy? It says Sterling Sterling. I think it's broken here, but it's not that big of a deal. That is so teeny tiny. See it? The bottom there marked? It's a very small Sterling necklace. Some little guys. This one will go in. Craft lot. This one is plastic. I thought maybe it wasn't, but it is. Rhinestone. Pretty fold over class bracelet. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm not going to fight with that for this for just a second. There's... I don't think this is sterling. Yeah, I don't think so. This, I think, is glass. It's like so much... I think these are crimp beads that were causing it. So I think these are glass. They're very pretty. I love glass beads. They're so nice. I hoard. I hoard, obviously. but I wouldn't recommend being crazy like me. So then we have the page, a bookmark. Eh. Putting that in with the Christmas stuff over there. But who is this? Express. This actually looks pretty. Some of the express things are very nice, I think. This one's pretty. Yeah, I think we can all relate here to being hoarders. Or at least uh, very easily allowing ourselves to be. This is cool. I wonder, it's not marked. It might be alpaca. That's neat though. Hopefully the other one is here. And then what's this guy? It's a little heart. BMNY. I have not heard of BMNY. I don't know, but it's pretty. It's a pretty little heart. I have some lots that I listed on Anita's page that I may just end up doing a video for. Um, oops, sorry. I hadn't had any bites on, but there's some nice stuff in there, so I think I'm just going to do a video. This one, it's not very well made. I think I'm going to take this one apart, too. Just to use the beads. They're such pretty beads. And uh, it, it's like had stuff that would stick you in it. Which is not pretty. Not pretty being stuck by your jewelry. Oh. 
or wearing shoes that make you bleed either. It's also not cool. I've been there. They were the nicest shoes ever, and I loved them, but they literally made my feet bleed. Here is a Knights of Columbus. A rosary. I need to put all my rosaries together, too. I have a lot of them. And, like, plastic ones, too. I know, right? It's like you have to suffer for beauty. Swink. This guy's a swank. KG. I think Sally said that she's actually sold some things that were monogrammed. I, I always hesitate to put them up, but maybe I should. These are pretty. I like these. Very pretty earrings. Ooh, this one's pretty. This marked it all. I feel like this is probably sterling. I don't see it marked, but I have a feeling that it is. So I'm gonna put this to the side. And some earrings. Some more earrings. This one's fun. It's got a whole bunch of feathers. This is very nice. Very nice. That one's pretty. Coppery. <laughs> this is stuck. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a bee! I think it's just like an ornament. Oh, also bone cracked up. Crafty, crafty that. Ooh, I think this is real puka shell. I like the real puka shell ones. You can kind of always tell because they're a lot... I don't know. They feel more um, quality. And I think they're like concave and such. But I think this is a real puka shell necklace. And it feels so nice. I actually kind of like those. These are cute. It's a little pretty earrings and another one of these I still have no idea what those are for they're all different shapes normally too so I don't know really hope we get some matches today this one's really pretty I did sell my cat one that I did, that was the clothes and I actually kind of really like using this for um, crafting more than wearing. I think you can make new things with them, that's super fun. It was like the first thing I've sold that I've handmade on Etsy, which is awesome. Alright, I don't think this is marked. But it seems to be pretty. <laughs> Let's see. I always have to try to see if there's anything missing. And I don't. Oops. <laughs> it doesn't help when it's falling. I don't see anything. Very pretty, right? I don't think it's that old. But it's still very pretty. Be nice for a wedding or something like that. Oh, look at these. The leaf. That's fun. Maple leaf. The 
And this is super pretty. Earring. I love that color. Oh, it's beautiful. If I don't find the other one, that one's definitely going to be something else. Oh, I think it's here. Look at that. I think I got it. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, thank you. I just got this today, actually, from Poshmark. I love it, and it actually fits me, which never happens with turquoise rings because my fingers are really big. These are so pretty, right? Oh, I love those. I love the shape of them, too. They're still in the shape of the shell. I love abalone. This is fun. It's a pretty bead. I know it's, I love natural too. Let's see, can I, is this one done yet? Oh my goodness, this is the longest necklace. Guess not. <laughs> All right, so this I think needs to be repainted or something. But I also think these things could be fun in something else. I believe. So I think that could be repurposed. I don't know if it's just tarnish or what. I mean, I guess we'll find out. Oh, look at the little cowboy boot. It's an earring. That's fun. Again, that'll also be fun. Regardless of if we find it's match or not. That one's pretty. You know, that's the one thing about being international, right? Is we're not all on the same schedule but it's fun to catch people when you can this one is does anyone else ever get sad when they see half of a best friend necklace <laughs> makes me sad i always wonder what happened are they not friends anymore oh look at what's this this is fun very smart about how um they're putting these in there like that. That's so cool. It's very smart. So it's got little turquoise chips in here. I don't think it's sterling or anything, but we have a saguaro cactus and a little feather. So those are very nice. I do like those quite a bit. I like this too missing some rhinestones looks like a really fun lucite heart and uh i like this it's a really nice one i am going to put more rhinestones in it and i'm gonna use this for a necklace because i like it this is a fun one too it's kind of different, you know? It's not just plain one color. It's one of the ne neater um, shell necklaces, necklaces I found. These are cool. They have multiple textures. One's almost like a wood grain. That's cool. And then here's a brooch, which I sell these. I've sold ones similar to this, not the exact one, but um, where you can put a, a picture in there. And it's really fun. I'm just going back to dig in, because why not? <laughs> That's what I want to do. You all know I try, I try to be nice and organized over here. Then I end up 
stuff everywhere. <laughs> What are these? These are vintage. Very pretty, right? So pretty. They're a little yellow, but they're not bad. And then let's see these. Ooh. Oh, look at look at how they did the clasp. It's a chain. Well, that is inventive. These are really nice Aurora Borealis beads. These are like heavier than normal. These are very, very nice. I don't know if you guys can see like how multi-dimensional they are as well. These are one of the nicer strands of Aurora Borealis I've found, and it's longer than normal too. And I have certainly never seen anything quite like this, but hey, it works, you know? I love that. I'm gonna put that aside for things that are special. Goodness gracious, guys, look at that. <laughs> All right, so we have this other one. That's a pair. It's a little buggy. And another little buggy. That one's cute. This guy, he's not silver or anything, but it's still pretty. Hmm. Hoy. All right, let's get this guy out. Oh, I see a unicorn. No marking. Unicorn. He's so cute. He needs a bottom though. And there's a cow. Moo, I'm a cow. This one's pretty. I don't think it's silver, but it's pretty. Yeah, well, this one is also very nice. Oh, look. Here's this one. Where did I put him? Let me see if this is at all fixable. Yeah, I should be able to fix that. Right? I just have to glue it inside. That's, I love this. That is so cool. So I'm just gonna glue that in there and make it stick. But it's a really neat, it looks like um, abalone to me. By the way, if you're wondering, I will use my E6000 to do it. These are pretty. I know sometimes people really like these, like bronze artisan um, bracelets. Oh, really? That's sad, Sally. These are pretty. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. So pretty. We've been um, lucky, kind of, so far with matches, so. These are cute. So maybe the match will be in here. What's this guy? This one is Monet, but oof, he is. Worn the house. I don't know, that's something my daughter says. I don't know what that means, guys. Oh, look at this, look at this. 
This one is Park Sells Alpaca, right? Me Alpaca, Mexico. So that's fun. So I do have a pair of those. And I think Anita has said ketchup will clean those up nicely. There's a pin, pretty rose pin. I mean, one day we'll be able to get this this one off. I don't know what his problem is. All right, what's this guy? Okay, I don't see a name right now. No signature, no name, but this is very pretty. Let's make sure we got all the rhinestones in here. And it sure looks like it. Yeah, I think they all are. Look at how pretty this is, guys. That would be so nice for layering, don't you think? There's some that are like a little dead but this is an amazing shape and it's somewhat heavy. It's not super heavy. So it's not like designer quality, I think, but it's also not cheap. So very pretty. I think. Hmm. I know there's more silver in here. I can smell it as a parrot gonna make a parrot sound but for some reason I couldn't think of what a parrot would say oh that's cool it's some very pretty earrings in here and then I did get the other KG hello Miss Dawn This one, I think, is Monet, but it's also worn, so I'm going to put that. Well, you know, I'm going to show you guys. I might use this sister claw because it's not in that bad of a shape. And there's something I want to do with it, so I'll show you guys one day. These, I'm going to use the beads because um, I have some thing I want to try to do with it, hopefully. And that's what we all say, right? <laughs> crafting. So many good crafting ideas. So little come to fruition, but it is what it is. This is an earring, I think. I don't know. I have to figure that one out. A little gift. And these are pretty. I kind of like these earrings. This is very pretty too. And however, this I think is 1928. That's very pretty. Hopefully the other one's in there. is pretty. I was hoping it might be incline or something. Um, it's got that look to it, but it, it's not. But it's very pretty. Oop, sorry guys. I didn't mean to hit ya. Oop. And we do have that other earring. So there's, there's pears in here, which is always fun because there isn't always pears. Oh, look at this guy. That's very pretty. 
I would think this could be silver. It's very gorgeous. I love it. I hope the other one's in there. This one, um, like I said, it's going to the shops a lot because she needs some bling, and that is 100% bling. She had put some stuff aside for me, so I put some stuff aside for her. You guys haven't checked out Miss Shops a lot. She does a lot of designer stuff. All right, this one I'm gonna take apart. It's already kind of falling apart, but these beads are gorgeous. So, I love those, so pretty. Beads are expensive, guys. It's always exciting to have some that you can take from just like those. All right, here, just grab some. This is cute. There's no mark or anything, but it is very beautiful. It seems very well made too. I love that. Oh, this is delicate. Love sick. Ness. <laughs> Look. Love sick. Ness. N E S S. What? That's weird. That's fun though. Very pretty closing a earrings. Oh, geez. oh hey, we got our other parrot. I know you guys were waiting for that one, but we got it. It's okay. You don't have to worry. I got my parrot. Uh, why is this so hard to come up? Okay, this is cool. It's another stone. I love it. Love it. Speaking of love, the love pendant here. I don't know. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, look at this one, too. There's a lot of pretty natural stones in here. This one is, too. Love that. And also, this is so cool, guys. Look at these beads. These are glass beads, the black and white ones. Those are super cool. I love those. So I think I'm also going to take those apart because I love the beads more than anything. And they're glass. Glass beads are so nice. What's this? This one looks like he is worn. Um, this one is Hickok. Very pretty. I found some Ooh, this one's pretty too. I love enamel. It's so tiny though, but it's beautiful. Hopefully you guys can still see and hear me. This one is pretty as well. It's a little worn, but not bad. 
I totally forgot I was gonna bring some clothes to the to get dry clean today. So pretty. And a little V. You're just enamored like I am, right? <laughs> Look at this. This is so cute. I love that. It'll be fun. This reminds me of stuff my grandmother used to buy me to wear. All of my food or all of my clothing had to have like fruit on them. It drove me nuts. Culottes with peaches on them. Like, come on, grandma. Why? So all I remember is my peach short squirt with peaches on them. Which is hilarious. So I think this is Cookie Lee, right? Yeah. But look at this one's actually very pretty. I actually think Cookie Lee is nice. So that's really cute. And then these, I don't even have to worry about taking apart because they're already taken apart. These were a dollar. I think they're old. Er. Look at how pretty these are. Beautiful mother of pearl round beads. Made in China. So pretty. Love that. Oh, and I love this. These are so 50s to me. These um like pink ones. These, I hate these fishing line things though they get so tangled but do, aren't they so like hawaiian i love it these are cute they'll, they'll go in the girls the girls lot same with this guy well actually i don't know that one's cute And I think this one may also go, because I think it is also broke, as you can see. So this one will also probably go to Christy for her bling project. All right. See, now this reminds me of my childhood. I'll show you guys in a second. So it is a choker with a little cameo on it. I remember chokers were so the rage when I was younger. So I think I might actually take this off. And because I have used the chokers to put real um, cameos on these. And I like the color of this one. So I think that might be fun. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a black one upstairs. I don't have one in that color. So that's also nice. And here's another. These are so pretty. You guys agree? Well, the Kardashians brought them back for a little while. These ones were $4. They're amazing. I love these. Yeah, it's so fun. Like, that's part of why I think these jewelry drawers are even more fun. Because they just bring back fun, good memories, you know? So, same thing with this. I don't love the hardware on this. I mean... I don't know. They might find better hardware. Or we'll see. Oh no, that's supposed to be there. I like this color too. This one's got a little cross on it. 
Yeah, because even if you just have a pin, you can always stick the pin in there. And it's nice. I don't know. It's... I like it. Just something different to do. Different way to wear wear things, you know? Alright. So, I got two of these. I love these, regardless of if they're sterling or not. I think... I think it might say something here. And I know my loop is right in front of my face, but I don't see it. Pretty sure it says 925 down here. So I think these are a pair of 925. Beautiful mother of pearl cushion cut earrings. I love those. They're marked, like, really teeny tiny at the bottom. <laughs> so they're hard to, to see. All right, these are Napier. This actually would probably be amazingly gorgeous, don't you think? So you can see in here it says Napier and there's a patent. Very pretty. I think Monet's worth more than Napier, but some Napier's worth a decent amount, too. This one's just says V. It's very cute. Oh, yeah. I want to... I'd love to learn how to bead, too. Oh, look at this. Look at these pearls. They're so pretty. These all look older, too. Look at the, what the heavy do. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine wearing that. I don't know, maybe. But these are beautiful color pearls. Yeah, we're just opening up here um, where I am, phase one. Um, and we just meet, met this the other day. That's what um, we were talking about. I, the, these are close, too. I haven't went to the thrift shop, but these are old. So, it's a nice little close in A. They have butterflies, I think. I think those are butterflies. No, maybe they're flowers. Don't listen to me, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> these are cool, but I think... I am also going to give this to Christy for her blingy because that is a really blingy. And I think that'll be perfect for her. All right, what else do we have in here? Ooh, look at these. I don't even see these that often. I don't think the stores are going to open here right away. These are neat. These are great for beading, too. Um, it's like curbside pickup, I think, in some construction, which was open before, and then they closed it. So we'll see. This is fun. Some of them have shells on them. Yeah, I don't know, because they're like also, this is beautiful. I don't always like these, but sometimes they're so pretty and I love the shape of this one. I think they do a disservice by having them on these necklaces. <laughs> I, I've actually been starting to work out, so I've been really good about, well, I did a burger thing the other day, but that's cool. It's a little worn. This one's neat too. I think this one's sterling. 
and it's got little branch coral on it. It's really cool. I actually get lucky on here sometimes finding like the matches. It's actually kind of surprising. VIP. That's hilarious. You gotta let me in because I'm VIP, guys. This is a senior living facility near me, and they have tea lodges. Ooh, this is fun. Doesn't look to be marked at all. But look at that. It's heavy. Well made. I think that's sellable by itself, actually. I really like that. That one is quality. Sorry about that loud noise. This is fun. I actually kind of like this. I like the coins on this with the cowrie shells. And then you tie it at the bottom. That's neat, isn't it? Love it. All right. This just has random earrings in it. Hmm. And I think this was the pair from the other one. And then this one's going to go in the kitties. For the kids. And then neither of these are silver or anything. It would be lovely on a surfer, dude. Too bad I don't live by the ocean. It's funny, I didn't realize for some reason, and I don't know why, that um, the ocean in California is not warm. Right? Like it's cold. People aren't really. They surf in it, but they wear body suits, I think, right? Look at Minnie. Seems like it's in decent shape. Genuine leather. Calfskin. Genuine calfskin. That is cute. It's a Seiko. It's small, so I think it's like a kid's watch or one for a very small wrist. This one could actually be worth something, don't you think? It's Seiko. I'm put that aside as well. <laughs> oh my goodness this is so so stuck and tangled but I think these are real stones here and they're very pretty pretty dirty but um, those are cool I'll have to do something to get them out And then these are kind of worn. They're opening up our beaches, but I don't know. There's two of them. All right, who is this? This was six dollars and fifty cents. And one dollar and forty eight cents. Something magic connection. However, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's because that was for this. That was for this one. I think the magic connection is because it's magnetic. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know why I didn't realize that. Probably because I've only ever gone to the ocean on the Atlantic side. Like Myrtle Beach and Virginia Beach. So I'd never really been to the West Coast. This is a really cool. I love this. I love um, stars. I love this. Isn't that cool? It's nicely made too. This is really nice. Not everything has to be gold or silver to be nice, you know? So we got this guy. I know it's nice and warm in the Atlantic. So there are sharks. I don't know. Do they have a lot of shark attacks in California? I don't know. So there's a whole bunch of these. Every once in a while, I find one that's gold or has gold on it. There's golf, <laughs> cruise, different things. And then, see like this one. I don't know what that one is. This one's 18 karat. It's birthday cake. So it says Disney collection, but those are just the plain ones. So it's got a C and a Bible. And a martini glass, and a birthday cake, and a you go girl, and a Christmas tree. Ooh. I've always kind of been afraid of sharks, but like also doesn't make sense to be. Like, it doesn't happen that often, but it always seemed like it was in the Outer Banks where people were getting attacked by sharks. Whenever we were, like, out that way. So I'm kind of afraid to go to the Outer Banks, I guess. This is in really bad shape. That one I would have probably thrown out the garbage. Do you guys ever re-go through your jewelry and find things that you did not see before? I was going through something yesterday and found something I didn't realize was gold. That it was marked seven fifty. I thought that was pretty fun. So go through your stuff as you learn more, man. I'm gonna put this with the bling. Um, you see more. Oh, it's one of those purse thingies. I think that's awesome, isn't it, guys? Like it just shows you how much more you learn. Same thing. Yeah, honestly, go through your stuff. And if you ever get the itch and you can't, like, go thrift, you know, one thing that does help me is I will go through my collection um, and organize it or whatever. Um, that does help. I'm surprised this is... Not silver. These are real pearls. I want to go to Hawaii. I've never been. It's another one of these guys. That's cute. It's a little pretzel. There's so many of these. Yeah, it seriously does help. This is so pretty. I think I there's a pair of those. It's very pretty statement earrings. That one's pretty. I had a pile I was 
putting away her rings, but... Here's a bell. Bell. What's going on with the Christmas stuff? So this one's smaller than that other one. It also kind of looks broken. It's cool. Donna Karen looks in pretty decent shape, I think. Nice watch. So we were gonna go to California and then all this stuff happened, so. But I have, I've not been to the crib or anything. What is this guy? Look his mouth opens, guys. He's a pelican. I don't think he's doodling. I don't know. I don't see any signature or anything. But I love him. He's so cute. Although my one friend said that all of this has really helped her FOMO, which I totally agree with. Sorry for the noise here. Let me get it here. Because it's like there's not a lot of stuff that you're missing out on because nothing else is happening, you know? So you don't feel like I'm wasting the day. I just feel like I'm being me. This one says hope. That's pretty. I guess I should be out thrifting or cleaning or whatever. Yeah, that one's. This, I got this on Poshmark. I also got something on Poshmark today. Although I was very happy with this one. I did get something else that I want to, that I put in a case to return it. Because they said it was genuine turquoise, and it's not. These are pretty. They're just CZs, but they're beautiful. So hopefully they let me return it. It's cute little stars, earrings, starfishies, sea stars. Usually they're pretty decent about that. I really hope so because I paid too much for fake turquoise. It's pretty. But it's hard to tell sometimes in pictures, you know? Oh, look at this Mickey watch. I've never seen anything quite like that. It's from the Disney store. You guys remember the Disney store? We used to have one in our mall. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Oh, I love this. I should make put this on a keychain or something for my daughter. <sighs> I actually really like this. I like that. I'm going to make something for my daughter with that. Like I, I always tell her that cause sometimes, you know, you forget to breathe. Just relax and let stuff go. Oh, look. Genuine leather. It says it's a Movado. It looks old. What do you guys think? Bottles are expensive, aren't they? I don't know. 
Again, I don't know about watches. Joe Boxer. Remember that commercial for Joe Boxer? It's pretty funny. Another one of these guys. Yeah, I have no idea about Bovados. Totally could be fake. This is very pretty. It's also very small. <laughs> it's also very pretty. I'm not going to open this because it'll crinkle a lot, but this is pretty. It feels somewhat heavy. And it might be in either terrible condition or good condition. I don't know. Can't tell. Yeah, I get. I have TMJ too from from doing that. <laughs> so here's these ones are kind of cool though, but they're also Mardi Gras beads. See what else we got down here. If we have this this lady. So you have a pair of her. And I think this has gotta be sterling, yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's a little little unicorn what is the temperature in Miami it's cold here I think that's what you you were asking like I said I only <laughs> hola espanol un poquito I can normally read it a lot better than I can say it as well this is very pretty What is this? Oh, here's another one. Look at this one. I think this one's also sterling. This says something here. But I, I can't read it, but I'm pretty sure it's sterling. <laughs> There's lots of unicorns in here. That's kind of funny. And then this guy. It's so pretty. I think I think I'm gonna make them into something else, guys. Don't kill me. I have an idea. It's another unicorny. But this this other earring, that's nice. It says something here, but oh, I see my my loop is over here. Ugh. Sorry about that wonderful noise, guys. Let me see. Jeez Louise, this is hard to read. I can't tell. I think it might say 925. I think. That's pretty. So there's two of these ones. These are neat. This one's pretty too.
This is costume, but it's very pretty. So like I said, I do have some, oh, Disney. This is Piglet. This is all unicorns and Disney. This is very pretty. I'm confused by this. Oh, is this Swarovski? No, maybe not. Look, it doesn't have a thingy. That's so weird. I would have thought it was. But it's very heavy and it's very pretty. I think they're probably made with Swarovski crystals, even though it doesn't have, you know, the swan here. Um, and then these earrings are so pretty. They're both here too. Aren't those so gorgeous? And they're heavy. They're definitely, they're not plastic. These are uh, crystal. So those are very nice. I think this one's stone. That might go with the other one, I'm not sure. Yeah, those are very nice. Let's see, get some of these little things out here before my phone dies, <laughs> like always lately. But we're almost done anyway. This with the good stuff. Let's see. So there is a pair of these earrings, which are very pretty, and a pair of these ones. And then this guy, this Disney. It might be a Sterling, I'm not sure. It's Tigger. He is cute. This is Voss. Very, very cutie. And then here is another unicorn. I don't think that one's sterling though. And then a pair of earrings. What are these? Oh, these are beautiful Monet. Someone really loved unicorns a lot. And Disney. Cause look, here's Mickey and Minnie. Those are really cute though. And I do have the pair of unicorn earrings. And then here's a turtle brooch. Oh, I can. I have no idea what what the asking price for that one would be. She's cute. It's a little fairy. There's these ones. And there's two cows. <laughs> and then I think I have a pair of these. I think. That's kind of it in the bag. I'm sorry. Never did end up. All right, so then there's this, I think, is a sterling silver. 
and that's pretty. It's not put together very well, but definitely cool parts. Um, this one's not gold. Oh, look, it's another unicorn. <laughs> So there's just some nice, nice earrings in here and most of the other stuff is just kind of, let's see, I'll open this one first. This is like a button and stuff, it's plastic. I'm still happy with this for sure. I think I got my money's worth, so. I'm happy with it. Oh, it's battery. Battery for water boulevard. This is neat. I do like these earrings. I love the mixed metals on here, so those are very nice. Hmm. And I think that is, this is neat. I think this might be an anklet. That's fun. And I think that's kind of it. The other stuff is just... Let's see. Oh, the Richard Lou ones. New on the thing still. For $5.99. Um, and the other Hickok one was here. So these are very pretty. I love these. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And let me see. I do have this one is in here. So I did get these. I still think those are really cool. So I think there's definitely some really cool stuff. Even the stuff that like I didn't push away because it was like gold or silver was really cool too. So I'm definitely happy with this one. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed. Um, and otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.